Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The Caribbean Development Bank says the region must raise food production and increase climate smart agricultural practices to reduce the cost of imports and food insecurity. The matter was addressed at a CDB press briefing today. Here's Javon Keyes. Latin America and the Caribbean is one of the most food insecure regions in the world, with more than 80% of the food consumed being imported. President of the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, Dr. Jean Leon, says the region's agricultural sector is facing a number of challenges which must be addressed. Low productivity, inconsistent output, high vulnerability to natural hazards, and the impacts of climate change. The result, as I'm sure you're all aware of, is low competitiveness, limited ability to respond to regional and international market demands, and heavy dependence on imports to meet food and nutrition needs. Dr. Leon says the region must take a few steps to address the shortfall. One, investing in air and marine transport infrastructure and services to facilitate improved intra-regional trade and integration into global food markets. Two, designing and supporting the implementation of internationally recognized food safety standards to strengthen market linkages. And three, increasing investment in appropriate and location-specific climate-smart agriculture processes and promoting <clears throat> agricultural insurance to reduce risks posed by climate change and natural hazard events. CARICOM has set a 25 by 25 target for imports in the region aimed at reducing the region's food import bill by 25 percent by the year 2025. Director of the CDB's Projects Department, Daniel Best, says a broader approach to agriculture is also needed. Food sovereignty extends actually beyond the 25 by 25. Uh, and it, it, it really needs to be underpinned by climate smart agriculture, by capacity training to our, our farmers, to our producers. He says a number of projects are being undertaken to help meet the target. And just a slight clarification, the CDB press conference was yesterday, Wednesday, January 18. The tourism and hospitality industries are the most likely to see investments this year. In the latest Business Confidence Survey, pollster Don Anderson says almost half of the businesses in that sector said they were inclined to spend this year. 46.3% of the tourist sector said we intend to invest and we intend to increase our capital expenditure, capital investment over the next year. And we can see this is followed by the service sector, which is a pretty broad one, personal care, that type of thing, personal services, 27.7%. If we look at the other end of the scale, finance, insurance, real estate, and business services are down 20.3%. The U.S. dollar is selling for an average $154.37. $114.81 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. $187.64 for the pound, while it's costing an average $169.54 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index lost 1,427 points today, while the junior market index dropped 72 points. Among the winners, CAC 2000, 9.5% CR preference shares, Epley, KLE Group, Key Insurance and JMMB Group 7.5%. Losers include Cargo Handlers, Stanley Motor, Limners and Bards, Cygnus Real Estate Finance US Dollar Shares, and Productive Business Solutions US Dollar Shares. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.